Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on digital signal processing. In this video, we will consider a numerical on bilinear uh, transformation method. It says using BLT technique, uh, using BLT, design a second order digital low pass Butterworth filter with a cutoff frequency of 3.4 kilohertz at a sampling frequency of 8000 hertz. So these are the specifications given. So let me write whatever it's been given. So we'll start with the solution. So it's been given the cutoff frequency. Cutoff frequency uh, usually it'll be in terms of uh, radians per second, omega c, but it is given in terms of hertz. So let uh, let us write f c is equal to 3.4 kilohertz, and a sampling frequency f s is given as 8000 hertz. Correct. So now the task is to design a digital filter. But we can design only analog filters and based on the transformation technique, I can get the digital filter. Is that okay? Uh, and then uh, I, it, it says the second order digital low pass Butterworth filter. So using the second order Butterworth polynomial, I can write the transfer function. What, what could be the transfer function? So let me write that. The transfer function, the transfer function. of second order second order low pass butterworth filter low pass butterworth filter is so using the butterworth polynomials i can i could write the straight away the transfer function h2 of yes to represents the order of the filter it says it is the second order it is a 1 that gets uh, divided by a square plus root 2 times s plus 1 so how do we get this uh, for the getting the butterworth polynomials i have made uh, one more video on these things so i recommend you to watch that video so that we'll understand how to get the butterworth polynomials yes now the task is uh, done uh, this is uh, uh, the transfer function of uh, butterworth uh, low, uh, low pass uh, filter and now the task is i need to design the digital filter so how do i do that with the given specifications that is also important i need omega c that is the cutoff frequency. What is omega c? Omega c is equal to 2 pi, 2 pi, that is the f c cutoff frequency divided by the sampling frequency f s. So we must know that 2 pi f c by f s. So we are going to get uh, 2 pi, just substitute the values, f c is given as uh, 3.4 kilohertz that gets uh, divided by f s, that is 8000 hertz or 8 kilohertz. So if you do that, we are going to get uh, 2 pi into, just make use of the calculator, we are going to get it as uh, 0.45. So simplifying that leads to the cutoff frequency omega c is equal to point, that is uh, not uh, 0.45, it is 0.425 to be precise. So we are going to get uh, 0.85 pi radians per uh, 0.85 uh, pi radians per second. So this is now the cutoff frequency. So now what I do is I can design the frequency. I can design the Butterworth filter. Before that, there is something called pre-warping. Pre-warping. So why we have to do pre-warping? In the sense, first we'll design analog filter. So let me write over here. First we'll design analog filter then apply frequency transformation technique over here frequency transformation technique so that we are going to get digital filter this is what we are looking for now but the specification the frequency specifications are there in digital domain if i want to design analog frequency analog uh, filter i cannot make use of these frequencies I have to pre-warp. There is a problem of aliasing comes into picture. So to avoid that, to tackle that, I have to pre-warp. Pre-warp in the sense, I need to get the analog frequency specifications. Whatever the, the frequency specifications are there, it's been given in digital domain. I need to convert them back to analog domain. So how do I do that? The process is called the pre-warping. Therefore, 
delta c omega c it is uh, frequency is represented as uh, omega c in analog domain which is equal to there is a formula 2 by t tan omega c divided by 2 so how do we get this formula again there is one video and what is uh, pre warping in detail again uh, there is one video created so kindly watch those videos so that we will understand uh, how to solve this numerical uh, very easily yes so now uh, moving further uh, this is uh, 2 for the simplicity we will take uh, t normally as 1 or 2 so in this numerical we will take uh, t is equal to 1 then tan omega c divided by uh, 2 omega c we got it as uh, 0.85 pi that gets uh, divided by 2 so if you solve that uh, we are going to get omega c is equal to 8.33 so now we got the frequency specification in analog domain and whatever we have here this is uh, the prototype and for that I have to apply a frequency transformation technique to transfer low pass filter is that okay so now uh, I can uh, uh, I can uh, do the transformation and yes therefore yes need to be replaced with yes divided by 8.3 8.33 to be precise. S yes, need to be replaced with uh, S divided by 8.33. Therefore, H A of S. Yes. This is uh, going to be a low pass Butterworth filter with this frequency specification, which is equal to 1 uh, divided by. So, what I have to do here, I'll consider the same uh, transfer function, but in that I'll replace every S yes with S yes divided by 8.33. So it is a square, so it becomes yes divided by 8.33 square. Correct? Plus, uh, then I have a root 2 times yes. So it is going to be root 2 times uh, yes need to be replaced with yes divided by 8.33. Plus 1 as it is. Correct? So now just take the LCM and try to simplify that. Uh, 8.33 square turns out to be 69.388. If you take it to the numerator, it becomes 69.388. And the entire term gets divided by S square plus it is 11. 11.78 11.78 yes uh, root 2 into 8.33 turns out to be 11.78 yes plus we are going to get 69.388 so this is the transfer function which we are looking for which is there in analog domain with the required frequency specifications now the task is I need to get the digital filter so how do I get the digital filter so let me write to get to get low pass digital butterworth filter butterworth filter so i'll make use of uh, blt using BLT. BLT stands for bilinear transformation. So that I transfer the analog filter into digital domain which is represented as H of Z which comes from H A of yes by replacing in that expression every yes with 2 by T into bracket 1 minus Z inverse divided by 1 plus Z inverse. So this is the method to get the digital filter. So you, uh, we already have the transfer function that is H A of S. So let me write H A of S is equal to that is there in 69.388 that gets divided by 
s square so here s need to be replaced with this and t we assumed it to be 1 t will assume it to be 1 so we are going to get 2 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse square of this correct plus 11.78 yes it is 11.78 in place of yes i am going to i am going to put 2 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse correct plus the last term which is there as 69.388 so this is the final transfer function of a low pass digital filter so you can keep something like this or uh, it can be replaced uh, with its uh, it can be simplified further and it can be uh, written in terms of uh, z to the power minus 2 z to the power minus 1 and so on so this is uh, not h a of z rather this is h of z because we are there already in a digital domain h of z is equal to we'll get this transfer function finally this is how uh, we solve the numerical using the bilinear transformation technique i hope you people have understood if there are any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section i would definitely address those uh, doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel ng classes for more videos on digital signal processing till then thank you everyone for watching